Star Realms is a two-playing deck-building head-to-head game where uh, players try to upgrade their decks with different uh, factions of spaceships and uh, beat down their opponent. Uh, joining me tonight is Kieran. Kieran, thanks for joining me. Oh, anytime, mate. Thank you very much for having me. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> now, we met while we were studying nursing um, in Melbourne. Uh, you know, towards our second year, our, our sort of past sort of diverged a little bit. While yeah. we while we start playing, and you okay. can kick us off, definitely. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience, or why you went into nursing originally, and and then maybe what happened? Yeah. So originally, uh, my my story with nursing actually goes back to like graduating high school, where the first thing I got accepted for was nursing in Horsham. I don't remember applying for it. <laughs> I don't remember ever applying to go to Horsham, and I only didn't go because it was in Horsham. So. I didn't end up doing it. I went and did a went and did a communications degree instead. The two most different things in the world. So yeah, I've always kind of thought I wanted to do in, into nursing, and yeah. So it took me ten years to get there. I finally started. I was like twenty eight at the pandemic, and yeah, I I enjoyed it. I liked the the healthcare side of it. I liked the I don't know. Just I, I didn't really like the science side of it, but I liked the the care side of it a lot. So yeah. So yeah, it was a bit of a long long process to finally get to ACU to do it, but um, yeah, I was pretty happy I did at the end. Yeah. Yeah, well, my path is a little bit different to, to going to nursing because I did, I did film and TV, first of yep. all, and then I was like, doing that, I was like, I remember someone straight after our course went and did nursing. I'm like, why would you want to do that? Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah, sometime later, then I did the same thing. A couple of years into the course, uh, and then uh, I remember catching up with you one day and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so nursing, for whatever reason, came not for you as much. Yeah, I think the something that I don't think a lot of people really talk about when they go into nursing is that how hard it can be for someone who isn't eighteen and living at home. I think um, you get to a certain age and you've got bills, you've got rent, um, you've got a lot of things that you need to factor in because you have a lot of unpaid placement is what we're we're, we're alluding to there. Like yes, where, where you're for sometimes and a month at a time, you're yeah. working five days a week without pay yeah. at a hospital, which is obviously not getting paid, but it's also incredibly draining and it's hard to then work on the off days. 100%, yeah. yeah. And I think like in coming to year last year, I think it's, it's 500 hours, is it not? That's like three months of unpaid work. Yeah, and it's a like, long time. It's, it's, it's hard to even fathom that. Like I've got to take a quarter of my year where I'm not going to have an income. And of course I'm a millennial, so I don't look after my funds well enough. So, yep. you know, it is just, it's just how it is sometimes, yeah. yeah. Become, yeah, become I feel like that doesn't, that doesn't get talked about enough and I feel like it is a very hard thing to, to overcome, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the same thing with teachers have the same thing. It, 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 it's a very much becomes like historic sexism thing of like tradies pay their, like not just they treat their apprentices as well, but like they, um, they pay their apprentices. Yes, uh, yeah. But the more female dominated industries are like, they can work for free, it's fine. Yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of like that, that 1950s mentality hasn't ever really left. I yeah. guess we're not really getting trained at, uh, at hospitals anymore exactly, and like, you know, yeah. it's not for years at a time, but it but still, still doesn't really get there too much. So yeah, so the, the placements are hard and then so you decided not to continue with nursing. Yeah, I had like, had some mental health stuff go on too, which kind of really reinforced it. I think we all had a bit of a hard time during the pandemic, I think, yep. but. I think everything was kind of starting to get to me a little bit then, so diverted from that path a little bit, felt a bit lost for a little bit, and then while I was studying, um, I was working in hospitality, so I kind of started doing that a bit more full-time as opposed to when I was studying. Obviously, I was, got stood down for a lot, of the, a lot of that as well during the pandemic, so yeah, that kind of became a full-time gig for me, and that was pretty soul-crushing, so I decided to move out of that, and I moved into disability support. So yeah. for those that don't know, what does that actually involve? Um, it's pretty varied. A lot of it can be um, what you'd expect it to be, taking people out who have like physical disabilities, taking them out for outings, looking after their personal care, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it goes into really nuanced things as well, like the place that I worked at um, had a, spe a specialisation in acquired brain injuries and it was a live-in facility. So there was up to 45 mainly men didn't have to be men living in this one site and we had to essentially do whatever they needed to make their day easier. Some of them had physical disabilities, it wasn't too many though, but a lot of them had social stuff they needed. So we'd take them out to the shopping center and they, you know, whatever they need to do, take them to the movies, but also a lot of personal care for a lot of them as well. So very, very, very nursey, I think in a lot of ways, but like a lot more of a social aspect. 
Like it wasn't confined to those walls, it was outside of the walls as well. Yeah. Good. Uh, What's interesting about that, um, hearing you talk about that, is uh, part of the appeal for me in mental health, uh, mm. it's not the only thing, but part of the appeal of me is it moved away from doing ADLs. Yes. Uh, we, and and uh, after, like when you do nursing, the first couple of times when you're helping someone shower or go to the bathroom, it's pretty gross. Yeah. And then after that, you're just like, you're just helping someone and it, you, you get over it after. The first couple of times they're confronting and then it's like, I'm just helping someone, whatever. Yeah. But part of the appeal of mental health is you don't have to do that yes. as much. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, so then obviously with, with being um, a, a support worker, there is the elements of doing that sometimes. Yeah. Well. yeah. So I was exactly the same as you. On placements, the, the only... Not the only part. There was a lot of aspects of other ones that really appealed to me. But, um, yeah, mental health really appealed to me as well. And that is what drew, drew me to this place in particular because it wasn't a pretty nuanced kind of place. Like, yeah, it had a lot of mental health stuff, a lot of former drug addicts, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think about probably two, two three-thirds of them. Three-thirds? Two-thirds of them had schizophrenia as well, so a lot of that kind of stuff. And it really, yeah, from my time on placement at a, at a, on a psych ward, it was... A pretty easy transition for me. So. Okay, you're in disability support. There's there's a lot of things that are about it that are similar to how you're in mental health, but you know, different from placement. You're getting paid yeah. to be there. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty appealing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, money can be exchanged for goods and services. Yeah, it can. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> like, like I think I think that's one of the things they they. I remember in first year nurse and they talk about that is there's a stereotype of nurses being like angels who will who will always be able to help. And it's, it actually becomes a harmful stereotype because it's, it's a profession. Like, hundred percent, yeah. yeah. Um, things cost money. Like, if I'm not getting paid for nursing, I'm not going to be able to buy more board games. No, exactly. It's, it's, this is serious. And what's the point of living if you have <laughs> if you can't buy board yeah, games? Exactly. You know? um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Cost Haven's coming out soon. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta play Blue Haven first. Right? I, I've, I've got two Jaws of the Lion campaigns yeah. going at the moment, and then Bloom Haven, then Frost Haven. Yeah, okay. You got a bit, uh, you got so, a bit of work yeah. to do. Yeah, uh, I'm behind. Um, <laughs> But yes, uh, getting paid is important. So you work in disability support yeah. uh, for some time, yeah. uh, and then also then you're not. Yeah. Did, did something change, or did did it, did it get you? What, what sort of happened there? Um, I guess parts of it did get to me. I think um, same as any healthcare. I think you, there's a lot of a lot of sadness involved. I think, um, especially mental health is very similar that you get a lot of long stay patients this is very similar you have live in people as well so you kind of see people deteriorate that you don't want to see deteriorate um you see death like it's it's not nice um but again you're going into it knowing that so yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of hard to be like upset at yourself for being like get, letting that affect you when you know what you're getting into but like you don't really know until you experience it i guess yeah no i, I don't think you can be like Blame for like having like compassion fatigue or burnout, like that 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 is like yeah that they sort of warn you about it and there's yeah. like steps to sort of mitigate it, but like it it can happen and like it's it's yeah know, definitely is, uh, and it absolutely does happen and I feel like a lot of people feel like you need to push through, but like I feel like again I think I brought up the pandemic about seven times now, but for me it put a lot of things in perspective in my life and I feel like that was another thing too that. Because I'm a pretty empathetic person most of the time, and I feel like oh, I cannot look after anyone unless I look after myself first. So I think you need to look after yourself, I yeah. think. And that was not the right job at the right time for me. So yeah, I have moved on from it. I think a lot of things, the burnout was was real. <laughs> that was, yeah. But that's just life sometimes, you know? Yeah. You don't really know where you're going. You've got to try and work it out. It's hard, easier said than done, but yeah. I'm also going to buy this hive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for six, <laughs> for five. Yeah, yeah. So that immediately refills. Yeah, I got one, but left. I think I'm just going to skip everything. I'm going to discard these two and draw two more. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing some the faction combo-y stuff. Ooh, okay. I'm going I to like play it. a blob fighter. Yeah. Then I'm going to play another blob fighter, which then I'll, both of them allow me to draw a card each. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to play. Missile bot, which allows me to scrap a card in hand. I'm going to scrap the Viper. It's yep. going to go. Uh, then I'm going to play um, the Stealth Needle, and it's going to be as a come in as a Blob Fighter, okay. which allows me to draw a card. It's going to be a pretty tasty turn, that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh, <laughs> have some money to buy some things. Oh. Uh, just have three. So I think I'll just buy the Cutter, but then I'm going to deal some damage to you. So it's three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, well, no, so there you go. Blob fighter, blob fighter, 
I don't use rock arts. I'm dealing yeah. with damage. Oh. Kieran? I have been slain. Kieran, thank you very much for coming down and talking quite honestly about the sort of journey through nursing and disability support work and the sort of challenges that come through working in healthcare and, and making the decision to try to career change into uh, healthcare and the sort of the perils that come with that. So thank you for, for that. No worries. Yeah, I hope I haven't turned anyone off healthcare because it is lovely. <laughs> it, is, it does feel nice. Makes you, it warms yeah. your cockles. So yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me. No worries. <laughs> no.